We are gonna go on a little Target jaunt because I need new leggings. Lately, they have just been dropping like flies. <laughs> I have either been hip checking really sharp objects, that's how I lost three pairs so far, and if you know about holes in leggings, a small hole turns into an assless chap in the matter of seconds. I got paint on some, those ones are still wearable around the house, but not like out in public leggings, which let's be honest, I pretty much exclusively wear leggings. And then some of my older pairs kind of like lost their elasticity, like they don't just like stay up and where they're supposed to be, they just have an affinity for the floor. So I think it's time to replenish the stock a little bit, but Target is admittedly a dangerous place for me. All right, we might as well do a mini Target haul because I did get more than leggings from Target. Um, ignore the dog hair on the couch, they've taken it as their own. First and foremost, little watering can. Leggings, of course. Um, I only got one pair because I don't remember if I like Target leggings, but they're only $25. And at the rate that I'm going through leggings, girl, we cannot indulge in some Lululemons. My ass couldn't fit to those. <laughs> My ass would never fit to Lulu's. Are we kidding? Um, this like sports bra thing that I'm wearing, love it. So I went ahead and got the yellow color and the black. Just, this is my favorite sports bra right now. I had to do it to them. I see bluey, I get it. This will make a good sleep shirt. Then I found this shirt in the boys section. That's cute. It's really soft. A little spritz bottle while we're on the subject of plants. I went ahead and got some flowers. I got some nasturtiums. I guess these are really good to like plant in your garden and then like the bugs will go and eat them and not your vegetables. Also, they look really pretty. Some petunias. They sell these like massive hanging baskets every year that have petunias in them that are like $40. And I figure, why not try to grow my own? That would save some money, you know? $2 compared to 40. We got some cotton swabs, but no one cares about that. This candle that smells like Palm Springs Oasis. Just really like fresh and springy. Then from the dollar section, I found this little egg cup. It's just a cup to put a hard boiled egg in. Or a soft boiled egg. I think these are actually for soft boiled eggs. Then I found this little guy. Just a good sound. Boop, boop, boop. Chetty likes it. Oh, sorry, Chetty. And then we got a bag for Chetty. He loves these things. Lately, I've been entertaining the idea of possibly going back to school. I've always loved college, the whole classroom setting. Some would say that's why it took me seven years to get my bachelor's degree. <laughs> Or the fact that I'm completely indecisive and could not pick a major to save my life. So I'm just very hesitant to take that same path when I am still no closer to being decisive in what I wanna be when I grow up. Plus, now more than ever, we're in a day and age when all of the resources are available online to do some kind of self-learning curriculum. I found out that MIT offers like a bunch of free courses online. I'm currently taking one that is like an introduction to computer science and engineering. And right now it's completely focused on the coding language Python. And girl, in the first module, I was killing it. I was like, okay, this is fine. This is easy. But we're just going over definitions, like this means this kind of thing. And then second module, lost. And I don't know if I was like squinting at the screen, like trying just to force absorb information into my brain or if I just need to start wearing glasses again because the eye strain is real. But unlike trying to find your life's purpose and a potential career path that you wanna go down, resolving the eye strain issue is relatively easy and that's why I'm happy that today's sponsor is Warby Parker. I've got my try on kit here and I want you to help me pick some new glasses. Okay, first one's out the gate, I'm kind of feeling. <laughs> But if you didn't know, Warby Parker provides better looking quality prescription eyewear at a fraction of the price. 
And if you're not sure which frames to try, take the quick home try-on quiz and Warby Parker will make a tailored frame recommendation based on your personal fit and style preferences. Warby Parker glasses start at $95, including anti-reflective, scratch-resistant prescription lenses that block 100% of UV rays. They design every frame in-house with a huge selection of styles for every face shape. Next, we'll try on these round ones, which I am not completely sure that I'll be able to pull off, but we will see. She is studious though. They have this awesome free home try-on program where you can select like five pairs of frames that ship free to you and are free to ship back. Right now I'm torn between these rectangular wireframe ones and, and the tortoiseshell cat eyes. So very curious which ones you think are better suited for my face. And also, if you're interested in trying out Warby Parker for yourself, you can go to warbyparker.com slash Beatrice, take the home try-on quiz, and pick five pairs of glasses to try at home for free. Again, that's warbyparker.com slash Beatrice. Ugh, I don't know. Generalization of a concept of iteration goes much beyond what we could do with simple branching programs. Remember, with a branching program, based on a test, we could either execute one piece of code or a second piece of code, but we would then proceed below that and would not be able to repeat that code in any insignificant way. I'm not gonna lie, I still really don't know a single use case for Python. I know that there are plenty. I just, <laughs> in my life, for what? <laughs> uh. So with that being said, I feel like it's safe to say that I am not really learning it that well. <laughs> But whatever, I'm still trying it. But right now, however, I think I'm gonna build like a quick little rig for some grow lights that have currently infiltrated my whole entire dining room space. Welp, it is very much rigged <laughs> and a bit janky and I'm not entirely sure that the entire thing is not going to collapse but it's there and we'll all just cross our fingers that I don't burn all my little baby seedlings that have been thriving. Now I guess we'll get some dinner going. I used to make this one beef and broccoli recipe all the time. Then I like burned myself out on it and recently I've been wanting it again but I cannot find the recipe that I originally used. So I've been trying out different beef and broccoli recipes and so far they have not been it. I found one for this Korean bulgogi beef that we're gonna try tonight and let's see if that one hits the mark. Okay, let's make some breakfast and let's try out this gadget that I bought off of Amazon. It's just another method to make eggs. That is not boiling them and forgetting them. This apparently is a device that steams some hard boiled eggs or soft boiled, whatever you want, but also it appears that you can deshell them before and make some poached eggs. So very excited about that. Right now, I'm just gonna clean the accoutrement really quickly before we cook with it, because who knows what it's touched in its life. BRB. I have 
have notoriously not been very great at balance. And when it comes to projects like currently I'm working on the chicken coop, I tend to only focus on that and then not pay any attention to any other aspects of my life. So I've been actively trying to like get out here in the gym and work out and not neglect my regular routine. Even though I definitely do things out of order sometimes, but I've been trying to prioritize all of the things instead of just one of the things. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get this workout in and then we can start chipping away at the coop. Okay, quick workout. Now, I wanna get up some more hardware cloth, maybe finish at least one whole side. I don't know, it's just gonna be me working, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to hold massive planks of wood and nail them up, so we'll see how it goes. Got both sides of the coop done, so we are just chugging along. I probably would have only gotten one done today if Stevie didn't come out to help, but he did, so it's coming along slowly but surely. But I think that that is where I will leave you for today. I just wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>